I've had a Muay Thai gym in Thailand for eight years now and uh, you asked me what the hardest thing is about having a Muay Thai gym and uh, I'd have to say it's people management because you have your obviously you have your Thai trainers and uh, everyone's trying to support their family and uh, you have different you know if you have a bunch of guys that are high level fighters before then sometimes there's some egos and um, some conflict sometimes people have got different ways of teaching uh, making those guys feel together as part of a family and work together as a unit is a challenge and uh, when you do embrace it and get them all together then it's a fantastic feeling. Again you have to manage the fighters, our fighters are from probably seven, seven different countries so you've got people with uh, different ethnic backgrounds, different languages, uh, they've had a different way of training in their own country and of course there's different personalities to deal with so getting all of those guys to work together as a team to understand to realize that when they're not fighting they should be helping their teammates when they are fighting you know everybody working together and uh, you know the big challenge is to to bring all those guys from from different backgrounds together bring the ties in together with those guys and make one team where everyone feels like a family I think we've achieved that and uh, that's something I'm very proud of. Uh, we've got a number of uh, very successful fighters in the gym. One's Magnus Anderson. Uh, Magnus has been with us for about four years. Uh, he was training in Samui and uh, he decided to move to Phuket. I met him at a fight show. And uh, from, from there, he went on to lift his level, improve his game, gradually fought on bigger shows, started to fight in, uh, in the Top King World Series, for a number of big guys in there, uh, Yod Vizsar, uh, Churchillum, uh, Deadlit, uh, MX started, the Muay Thai was small gloves, and uh, Magnus became a star of MX. He beat uh, Siri Monkol, who was a three times Lumpini champion, and uh, then he had a famous fight with Dong Sun Pong, who was also previously a Lumpini champion. Dong Sun Pong head kicked Magnus, in the first round, Magnus barely recovered, but recovered and came back and and uh, knocked Dong Song Pong out in the third round. And that's where Magnus became known as the Crazy Viking. And throughout his career, when he's been knocked down, he's come back and, and won, you know. So uh, he ended up winning the 70 kilo uh, MX belt. He got to the final of the Top King World Series the following year. and. Uh, in the, in the very final, he lost to Churchillum, who's a uh, Lumpini champion now, I believe. Uh, also, he, he then signed for Lion Fight, and uh, he had three fights for Lion Fight, winning the 70 kilo Lion Fight belt. Uh, so he's fought in uh, Vegas, Sweden, and in Ireland for Lion Fight. And now his next challenge is fighting on one championship. Uh, I think a common misconception in Muay Thai is that uh, kicking pads is the most important thing that you should be doing. It's, it is an important aspect of, of fighting Muay Thai and uh, of course a good pad holder will develop somebody better than somebody who doesn't have the skills of a good pad holder, without a doubt. But uh, clinching is important, partner work is important, uh, bag work is important and uh, the the, you, some people don't understand that and they need to be coached uh, but these are all important aspects people who think that they can fight without running and, and having cardio and this sort of thing they're, they're, they don't understand but I think the most common misconception is you just need to be able to do three, four, five rounds on the pads and then you can fight. It's not true. If you want to be a complete fighter, you really have to work on all aspects of your game. And that's why Muay Thai tra training goes for two hours and not 20 minutes.